we, we have about 12 minutes left, so we're going to uh, uh, finish on uh, the topic of why is fanfiction good, and finally, why is gay fanfiction good? Can I have really that are you people. Do? <laughs> no, we no, really, we, we're, we're, we're limited on time. I we're swear to God, it's like two minutes. It's yeah. two minutes. No. <laughs> 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 right, um, right, but, uh, uh, because there are other people who still haven't spoken or not. And we I, need to take that want, I just wanted to add on to something that he was just mentioned. Let's keep it going. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, so, so the final thing, which we always say why fan fiction is good, it's great that there's a way for people to express their amateur writing talent. You know, yeah. one way or another, it's just good for people to be writing. Thank you so much for the one person class. There's a. It's so good for people to be writing. People just don't write enough anymore. And it's yeah. good to have a, a, a society, a community, that allows people to, you know, um, to criticize each other, to, you know, make each other's work better. And now all we have to do is push back from what it's become, which has basically been a review, like, like uh, thank you, um, a comment farm where people, uh, uh, are just trying to make each other feel better about their fanfiction and bring it back to actually reviewing each other's fanfiction. It will be something that is really priceless in our day and age of literature. Um, <laughs> so, um, so there's a question over there, and we should take that question before we get on to the gay stuff. So. Should be a, a comment. You know, just piggyback on what you guys said, I think that asking the question, why is fanfiction good, is the same thing as asking the question, why is fiction good, why is writing good. It's it's a vehicle to explore the human thank you. It's a vehicle to explore the human condition. And as you were saying, the best part about it is it gives authors a framework and a groundwork to bring forth their ideas without them having to create a whole universe. They can sit down in a comfortable place in their own fandom that they already love and take those characters and bring them out into something beyond what the author can even do. You know, yeah, the original really author. Cool about and you can, you can basically create... Um, dude, she wasn't done, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Please quiet that. Yeah, seriously. We're, we're eventually going to make everyone boo you if you keep interrupting me. We're already there. Yeah. We're already there. So, anyway. I know, I'm appreciated. Now, because of Mr. Interrupting in the front. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Aw, we made him weak Aw. Um, yeah, we're on applause. Thank you. And so on to the gay stuff. <laughs> uh, okay, so so we really we don't have a whole lot of time, um, but you know we will we will try to wrap this up as, as much as possible, um, and and we will get to hopefully get to your 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 question back there. Uh, but um, why is gay fan fiction good? Uh, now, I'd like to say, normally we could go on talking, we could do literally like a three, four hour fanfiction panel. We've gotten to the second page of this. <laughs> so there's just, there's just so much we could talk about, but you know, we have limited time and, and Nyack refuses to give us longer time slots, so uh, complain to them. Um, but uh, uh, th this is something that normally our, our, our friend Rob does, but he, he well, he unfortunately couldn't be part of this panel. He'll he'll be part of the AUSA and further fan fiction panel. So come see us at other conventions, and we can talk about even more stuff. Um, slash fic. Um, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> slash fic gets a multi-person applause. <laughs> and yes, they are all human. Yeah. Um, slash fic. <laughs> Surprise, surprise. That's actually an important point. Slash fic, um, I'm sure all of you have read bad slash fic before. Yeah. <laughs> um, how many of you have read good slash fic before? Yeah. Wow, really? Did you guys found the Holy Grail too? <laughs> <laughs> so, so um, if you if you talk about the idea of slash fic in society, um, Rob, who who is our friend and generally is on this panel and is gay. Says that um, slash fic is a is a no actually like he's a, he's homosexual why are you laughing at that <laughs> what, are, what are you a homophobe what's going on? 
No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> if Rob was here, we would have a sign with an arrow. With an arrow. Pointing to him. Be like, very much gay. But no. Um, so so he, he always says, Slash Vic is, is great because it actually allows young homosexual males to come into an identity. It allows them to read, you know, a story that basically makes them feel more accepted, come more into their sexuality. And that's really important. And that's really good. That's something that's really priceless. That being said, bad slash fic doesn't help. <laughs> like, ever, every one good slash fic out there that there is, there's 9,000, over 9,000, <laughs> fucking awful ones. And, and all of those awful ones, um, they they keep kicking gay rights in the balls. Like, they really detract like, you know, from the dialogue. Yeah, yeah, like 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 really when it when it comes down to it, um, the the unfortunate truth, not that there's really anything wrong with this, but do you know who the normal slash pick author is? It, it's it's not yeah females. Three you know, three. Uh, Thirty year old straight female. Uh, hand over there. We didn't say it was our own.